everyone. Today I have a really cool and delicious snack idea for you. It's vegetable crisps or vegetable chips depending where in the world you are. These are delicious and really simple to put together. All you need is an assortment of vegetables. Today I have parsnips and I also have sweet potato but you can also use beetroot and carrots. And I kind of wish I had some of those now because the beetroot especially would be really nice. Then you need some salt and some coconut oil. That's it. Really simple. What you're going to do is Take your um, vegetable, and I'm using just the other side of the cheese grater. You can see I've already done some. Um, so you get these nice thin slices. Now I saw online there's something called a mandolin or a mandoline. You know I'm no kitchen or cook expert, but it's specifically for slicing vegetables really thin. And I think I might just invest in one of those because I really enjoy it, enjoy these. So all you're going to do is take the vegetable. I haven't peeled it. I just washed them really well. The peels are really good for you as well. So I'm just going to do a few slices here to show you. And you can see they literally they turn out paper thin and that's the key to getting it crispy. If you're going to um, try and do this with the knife it might not quite work as well. You might not get them as crispy. Okay so I've already done quite a few ahead and I all I did was simply put the parsnips and the sweet potato in together into a glass bowl. Then I took my coconut oil and I melted a couple of tablespoons in a pan. Now coconut oil is really sensitive to heat so it doesn't take long. Watch it. It literally takes seconds. As soon as it's a clear consistency, take it off so that it's not actually um, hot. Then I'm, what I'm going to do now is just add a couple of the tablespoons into the vegetables. A little dash of salt bit too much and then I'm going to use my hands just to make sure that it gets really nicely coated. So you don't want them with too much oil and then you just want to have a little bit, um, you want each piece to be nicely covered. So if you need to add a little bit more, add a little bit more. You're better off doing a little bit at a time. So that actually looks really good. Let me wipe my hands. You're going to set your oven for about 200 degrees Celsius and you're going to add these onto a baking tray and you want to make sure that they're really spread out and not overlapping each other. They'll overlap a little bit especially if you've used the cheese grater like I have because you get all these kind of awkward little pieces. That's okay but the point is just to not have big chunks of them together. So this will probably take you a couple of baking trays. I'm just going to do the one for now. Oh, these are going to be so good. Okay, so I'm going to put them in the oven, and they go in for about 20 minutes, but you want to make sure, you want to make sure you keep a close eye on them. Flip them over about halfway through. The time is actually going to vary depending on how thick they were or how many you've got. So what, um, what you want to do is take them out, and it will take one to two minutes of just letting them sit there for them to actually be crispy. So they're not instantly crispy. So that's the key is just wait. If they're not crispy after a couple of minutes, then just pop them back in for another few minutes. But you'll get the hang of it. They're definitely worth the effort. They're so um, delicious. And like I said, a great snack if you're watching a DVD or you just want to give yourself a nice little treat and another way of getting those veggies in. So really enjoy this one.